Hello, we're in the Upper Clyde Valley in the village of Crossford. We're about to set off along a track through a deep wooded gorge ending at Craignethan Castle. It's a lovely sunny day, so let's get going. The walk from Crossford to Craignethan Castle barely lasts half an hour. The start of the walk is signposted beside the bridge which carries the A73 road over the river Nethan. A good path rises steeply at first, then levels out as it passes above the densely wooded slopes of the lower Nethan Gorge. The gorge forms part of the Clyde Valley woodlands which are considered to be one of the best examples of gorge woodland in the UK. A short distance into the walk, you can see this deep drop off of the lower Nethan Gorge. And over to this side, the much more open landscape that spreads out in front of us. The woodlands have been designated a special area of conservation because of their biodiversity. The gorge itself forms a nature reserve overseen by the Scottish Wildlife Trust. The dense woodland contains oak, ash, elm and silver birch. These provide a habitat for a wide variety of wildlife, especially birds such as kingfisher and dipper attracted to the River Nethan flowing below us. So here we are, almost at the end of the walk, with Craig Nethan Castle just around the corner. Below us is a stream that flows down into the Nethan, and over here are some of the cliffs that defend the castle on three sides. Craignethan Castle dates from the 1530s. The Tower House was built by Sir James Hamilton of Finnart, a close friend of King James V. Sir James was given the task of improving royal palaces and castles, including Holyrood House and Edinburgh Castle. An expert in defensive architecture, Sir James built his castle above the gorge to withstand artillery. It didn't do him much good as a few years later he was accused of treason and beheaded. Craignethan briefly became a royal castle but reverted back to the Hamiltons. This powerful family was forced finally to give up the castle because of their support for Mary Queen of Scots. The castle was then partially demolished only 50 years after it had been built. In the 19th century the novelist Sir Walter Scott was impressed by Craignethan Castle, which is believed to have been the model for Tilly Tudlam Castle in his novel Old Mortality. It is even believed that Scott considered making the castle his home until he decided to settle in the borders. Come down the spiral staircase into the caponnier, which is effectively a pillbox used to defend the ditch uh, that was dug to protect the, the, the tower house itself. Here there are loops for uh, shooting through to try to stop any uh, attackers trying to make for the, the tower house. 
Caponier is like this were Italian inventions, but actually this one and apparently one down in England are the only two left in existence. The castle, under the care of Historic Scotland, still has a strong romantic appeal. Many visitors come from far and wide to wander through its great hall and climb up to its battlements that overlook the lower Nethan Gorge. We've come to the end of the walk now and what better climax could you have than this? It's been a short walk but packed with interest. So I hope you'll join me for the next walk in South Lanarkshire. Goodbye. <laughs>